Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss errors and approximations. In number 14, calculate the percentage error in the perimeter of a circle of radius 3.5 centimeters. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with friends. You can also like and comment our videos. All right, we are talking about a percentage error in the perimeter. That is very key. So the perimeter or circumference of a circle is usually given by 2 pi r. So what you're supposed to do is to first of all know the limits within which this radius of 3.5 has been recorded. Because it is one decimal place, then it means there is an absolute error of 0 0.1 divided by 2, and this is 0. 0.05. Therefore, we're going to add 0 or subtract the same 0 0.05. Therefore, the radius now of this circle is going to range between 3.45 all the way to 3.55 centimeters. This means we can first of all get what we call the actual perimeter. Actual perimeter. This one is going to be calculated by when we take pi r squared, so 2 pi r, sorry, not r squared, 2 pi r. This one is going to give us a value equivalent to, and multiply, when we take 2 by 22 by 3.5, 10 over 7, this becomes 22 centimeters. That is the actual perimeter. We can look at what we call the minimum perimeter. So the minimum perimeter is going to be obtained by when we take 2 pi, then radius we use the least area, which is the least radius, sorry, which is 3.45. And this is going to be times 3.45 and divide by 7. So this is going to be 21 point. 21 point, uh, let's say 69 to four significant figures. These are centimeters. We are going to have the maximum perimeter. This one is going to be gotten by 2 pi. Then radius, we use the maximum radius 3.55. out of 7. So this is going to be 22.31 centimeters. So we are having actual perimeter, so called the working perimeter, the minimum perimeter, and also the maximum perimeter. What you should know, in the calculation of the perimeter now, there is what we call absolute error. So absolute error, in the calculation of these uh, perimeter is going to be when we take maximum perimeter divide by minimum perimeter maximum perimeter minus minimum perimeter then we divide by 2 so this is going to be 22.31 minus 21.69 out of 2 so this is going to be 22.31 minus 21.69, then we divide by 2. This is going to be 0 0.31. This is what we call the absolute error. 
in the recording or in the calculation of the perimeter. Now the next thing is what we call uh, the relative error, which is given by absolute error out of the actual perimeter. Relative error is going to be given by absolute error divided by actual perimeter. So this is going to be 0 0.31 out of 22. 0 0.31 out of, uh, yeah, exactly 22. This is going to be 0 0.0140. Zero nine. All right, from this, we can talk of percentage error now. So, percentage error is going to be relative error multiplied by 100 to make it a percentage 0 0.01409 multiplied by 100 becomes 14.09 percent so this is what we call the percentage error